Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, four different uh, triangles uh, fully confined uh, in a square uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, yellow triangle is a right uh, triangle since this angle is 90 degrees. And moreover, its uh, side length uh, EB is 7 and its uh, side length EC is uh, 14 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, red shaded uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle uh, BEC whose uh, side lengths are uh, 7 and uh, 14 and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and in our case our base is uh, 7 and our height is uh, 14 units so therefore the area of this uh, yellow triangle is going to be a half times uh, base is uh, 7 times height uh, is uh, 14 and if we simplify the right hand side, uh, the area of this uh, yellow triangle turns out to be 49 uh, square units. So thus the area of this uh, yellow triangle turns out to be 49. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, red shaded uh, triangle, so we need to find the area of this uh, triangle. So therefore we are going to think uh, outside the box. So therefore I have drawn uh, this uh, line uh, PF that is uh, parallel to this uh, line AB and uh, it passes through this uh, point E. And now let's focus on these uh, two triangles, uh, this uh, red triangle and this uh, yellow triangle as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see both of these uh, triangles uh, have the same uh, base. This has base AD and this uh, yellow triangle has uh, base uh, same since we are dealing with this uh, square and we can see that uh, this uh, PE is the height uh, of this uh, red uh, triangle whereas uh, this uh, EF uh, is the height uh, of this uh, yellow triangle and now our task is uh, to find the relationship between uh, these two heights. In other words, we are going to calculate the ratio of these heights. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Now let's assume that this angle is alpha. Since this is a 90 degree angle, so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EFB. We know this angle is uh, alpha. This angle uh, is uh, 90 degrees. So this angle uh, therefore is going to be beta. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EFC. We know this angle is beta. This is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle alpha. So therefore, we can see that this uh, triangle uh, EFB and this uh, bigger triangle uh, BEC are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore, we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of this uh, FB and EF. Let me write down. Uh, FB divided by EF is going to be equal to the ratio of EB and EC. Let me go ahead and write down EB divided by EC. And now we can see our EB length is 7 and EC length is 14. So therefore our FB divided by EF uh, this uh, ratio is going to be 7 uh, divided by 14 and if we reduce this thing that is going to be simply 1 divided by 2. So therefore we got uh, FB and EF uh, ratio is going to be simply 1 uh, divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and uh, we can write this thing 
as f b is going to be one times some constant k and e f is going to be equal to two times some constant k so therefore our f b this length is going to be one times k and this e f length is going to be two times k and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EFC this is uh, similar to this uh, bigger uh, right triangle uh, BEC according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportion once again the ratio of uh, EF and this uh, FC let me go ahead and write down the ratio of uh, EF divided by F c is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, e b and uh, e c let me go ahead and write down e b divided by e c and once again uh, our e b length is uh, 7 and e c length is uh, 14 so therefore i can write uh, e f divided by e c is going to be 7 divided by 14 once again this is reduces to 1 uh, divided by 2 so therefore our ratio EF and uh, EC is going to be equal to 1 uh, divided by 2 if the ratio is uh, 1 to 2 then this uh, EB length which is uh, 2k then uh, this uh, FC length is going to be a uh, twice of that one that is going to be equal to 4 times k and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, side length uh, bc is going to be the sum of these two individual lengths uh, 1k and uh, 4k if we add that uh, it's going to give us uh, 5k so thus our this side length uh, bc turns out to be 5k since we are dealing with this uh, square we know all these uh, side lengths are equal so therefore uh, this side length is going to be 5k this uh, side length is going to be 5k and finally this uh, side length uh, AB is going to be 5k as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, PF uh, length uh, is equal to this uh, AB length since they are parallel line so therefore uh, this PF length is going to be 5k as well and we know that this uh, EF uh, length is uh, 2k so therefore this uh, pe length uh, is going to be 5k minus 2k is going to give us uh, 3k so thus we can see that the height of this uh, red triangle turns out to be 3k and the height of this uh, yellow triangle is uh, 2k and now let's focus once again on this uh, red triangle and this uh, yellow triangle as well and we can see the ratio of their area is going to be equal to the ratio of their heights in other words red triangle area divided by yellow triangle area is going to be equal to red triangle height divided by yellow triangle height and now we can see our yellow triangle area is 49 square units our red triangle height is uh, 3k I'm going to replace this one by 3k and our yellow triangle uh, height uh, is uh, 2k so I'm going to replace it by 2k over here as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, red triangle height uh, by 3k and this uh, yellow triangle height by 2k and this uh, yellow triangle area by 49 at the denominator and here on the right hand side this k cancels out with this uh, k as you can see in this uh, next step the right hand side simply become 3 divided by 2 now let's multiply both sides by 49 to remove this left hand side fraction I'm going to move multiply 49 on the right hand side uh, as well so therefore this 49 and 49 is uh, gone so therefore our uh, red uh, triangle area is going to be equal to if we simplify the right hand side and that is going to give us uh, 73.5 square units so thus the area of this uh, red shaded triangle turns out to be 73.5 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye